Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to Hockey Manager 2020, where I'm not a manager, but I play one on YouTube. And in the last episode, we created the Charlotte Racers, a team of NASCAR drivers to play here in the USP, the equivalent to the NHL. And we are actually in third place in the Eastern Conference behind the New York Chiefs and the Buffalo Bulls. Uh, with three games played, two wins, one loss in overtime. With nine goals, I mean, that's kind of where the rest of the league is sitting. There's 16 goals by the Buffalo Bulls and the New York Chiefs. Pretty vicious, um, for sure. And only six goals against, which is pretty good, uh, considering the rest of the league. And we are sitting at five points. There's a couple teams in our division that haven't even scored a point yet after three games played, which is really, really cool. We only have to finish in 16th for our, uh, our owners to be happy, and that's pretty cool. I think that's doable in the grand scheme of things, especially if we keep playing as we were. Um, so yeah, we can get into the next game, but what I would like to do is see if we can slow down the simulation speed uh, just a bit. And it's at 98%. If we can just bring that right down to, say, 50%, that way uh, we might get a hold of, you know, what uh, what is happening during the game. Uh, we're doing full 3D scenes, scene frequency. Uh, let's boost that up to, say, 50% to see some more highlights. And uh, the simulation speed itself, let's go down to, uh, let's say... 20% or so, we were at 33. Um, so motivational speech, of course, we will give all that good stuff. And now we are ready to go with our next game. The youth team has gained Alexander Lamble, strength five, age 13. Tell you, them 13-year-olds playing hockey, uh, that is absolute crazy. But we are heading to the Stone Ariza, Stone Arena to face the New Jersey Hells, also known as the Devils. On paper, we're supposed to lose this one as well, but we'll just see uh, how we do here. 13,000 spectators beats our 2,000 for sure. Uh, once we get a little bit more money, I'd like to increase the seating capacity of our stadium because uh, I think we can bring in more than 2,000 per. All right, to the match, and here we go. First period underway, line changes in. Looks like Martin Truex Jr. is doing some stuff halfway through the first period already. Still zero to zero. It's a live look at the conference there. And so far, zero, zero after the first period. All right, so uh, let's see. Even if our opponents are stronger than expected today, you will win. No, they don't show any reaction. Okay, so that's uh, good. Stick with it, drivers. Hey, we got on the board with a score. Very nice, with no highlight reel, though. Did I turn down the, the highlight frequency? I think I might have actually turned it down. We'll see after this game. But nearing the end of the second period, we are tied one to one. As long as we keep getting points uh, to get a loss in overtime, I'm okay with that. All right, let's fight for the victory. The team is motivated. Let's go, drivers, get in there. Uh, Newman is doing okay, but he's sort of on the struggle bus. I don't want to, oh, that was a power play. Looks like old Austin Dillon went to the penalty box. Hey, we scored another goal. Yeah, let's, uh, let's jack up the highlights a bit, but we win our game against New Jersey two to one. Christopher Bell with an assist, Ryan Blaney, Joey Logano, and Cole Custer with the assist, Brad Keselowski and Kevin Harvick got our goals for that game outstanding. Washington Cops, Pittsburgh, North Birds. The loser is the Washington Cops. Final score brings Charlotte Racers the victory. Looks like old Brad Keselowski there. Uh, the best marks for Brad. Good performance made the victory possible. That's what I'm talking about. The Blue Deuce is performing for sure. Team of the day looks like Brad Keselowski made the center for the day. Outstanding, and that's another two points for us. Uh, are we still sitting in third? Yes, we are, but tied for second with the Buffalo Bulls with uh, four games played and three wins, seven total points. Looking pretty good. And the New Jersey Hells have actually lost every game this year, all four of them with no points. That is crazy to think that the uh, New Jersey Devils are having uh, that much of a struggle bus. And it looks like we are... Okay, so if we're on the road, do we not get back to the main menu? 
Okay, that's, uh... That's fine. I'm still trying to learn when we get to the main menu and whatnot. Our line chemistry is going up 7%. Uh, as we play these games, that chemistry will go up and all of our drivers will start connecting. So now it's time for the New York Chiefs, also known as the Rangers. Once again, I mean, we are... Um, we're outmatched, but the arena is sold out. And uh, Curry, Cutter, and Klo are our referees, the C-Squad, apparently. Huh, not sure about the quotas. Does that mean they have to hand out penalties? Who knows? They could be like a police officer where they have to hand out a certain number of penalties. All right, we are on the power play there for just a moment, but could not capitalize on the power play. Oh, Eric Jones in the box for two minutes. It'll be interesting to look at the, uh, the penalty minutes after we get back home. Uh, but so far, 0-0 zero to zero after the first period. Um, let's see. Let's fight for the victory. They are motivated. Good to go. Get in there and get motivated. Almirola and Bush. Line 2 strength. Yeah, if the simulation speed was a little slower, we could actually send the lines pretty quickly, but... We're passing by at a minute every second, so really no time to do that. But we capitalized on that power play there and got the 2-0 uh, to zero against the New York Chiefs. All right, don't forget the tactical instruction and you will win. They are convinced. Team spirit and fighting spirit, which we need to keep up the pressure in the third period. The two-goal lead is the most dangerous, and we got the third goal almost halfway through the third period. Outstanding here. You know, I'm liking this. I'm really liking our layout here. I'm liking the drive. We're on a all oh, nice four to nothing. Two penalty minutes for Bobby, Va Jan, and Thomas. We got Eric Jones and Austin Dillon in the box. One assist for Larson, two assists for Hamlin with goals from Martin Truex Jr. and Bowman. Two goals from Kyle Busch and an assist. The 18 coming up strong after that game. Nice. Two goals from Kyle Busch made the victory perfect. That's what I like to see. Of course, Kyle Busch will make the uh, the team of the day with that uh, particular performance. And we are tied for first now in the Eastern Conference. One point clear of the New York Chiefs. So we're moving up and kind of solidifying ourselves in the division. New Jersey Hell still lost their fifth game in a row. That is absolute nuts, I say. Yeah, you'd think the Devils would be much stronger than that. A one-day turnaround, and we will be facing Ottawa. And we are back home, and we do have an email in our inbox. The trust in your management board is at 85%. The board is very satisfied, and we're second in the division. Why not? All right, so do we want to make an appointment with the board? We can do, like, a, a board appointment. Uh, let's, um, let's see. We will do an interview. Uh, let's say on Tuesday the 13th. That sounds good. We'll set up an interview there. Uh, let's look at the options here and make sure that the uh, 3D scenes are on. And uh, 3D settings, we have 75% scenes with full de detail level and showing 3D scenes. That would be nice. Simulation of the match. Yep, 3D scenes would be nice. Um, yeah. So I guess we just didn't have any highlights to show, but that is fine. Uh, we'll autosave every two weeks just in case. All right, we'll save that there. And uh, let's take a look. We have 3 million euros. Can we invest in our stadium here? We don't want to change the prices of the benches. We actually want to... Let's see, can we move to a new, bigger stadium? All right, so our current ice stadium is 2180 with 3,600 seats possible. We have, and uh, I don't remember exactly where I saw it, but we had our whole top row um, decorated with sponsors. But I'm not exactly sure where, oh, well, there's our side, our entrance hall. All right, level of convenience is 17, demand of convenience 26. Do we do we slide this up? Do we add more convenience? How does one do such things as these? Huh. 
Let me take a look around and see if we can uh, improve our seating and our entrance hall here. Um, it looks like a lot of people are showing up every time and we're sort of missing out on money uh, from tickets here. All right, so it's in the extension category here. We're gonna pull these sponsor boards off and add more blue seating, I would say. Yeah, let's just do seats. Let's see, we can improve our video cube. We have benches. Oh, is that gonna take three weeks to, or three days to remove those, I wonder? Okay, we might check back. What is our periphery? Yeah, there we go. So if we build a new car park for, let's say, a thousand cars? <clears throat> yeah, that, that'll increase our level of convenience up. Um, 617,000 euros for that cost. Uh, dressing room. It's a normal dressing room. Oh, okay, so we did premium dressing rooms. Um, all right, let's cancel this project because it don't look like we can sort of go back on that. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we won't develop the dressing, but we will raise ticket sale Nivu. Yeah, there we go. Improving level of convenience 21 to 26. And then let's add a thousand cars. And there we go. So for 480 grand, we can accommodate that level of convenience. We'll go ahead and start that project. Nice. Yeah, not moving to a new, uh, a new stadium. The move is possible. So for 970,000 euros, we can go to a ice stadium with 5,000 seats. Um, we'll max out the 3,600, sort of take it slow, I believe. All right, sweet. So next matchup is against the Philadelphia Flyers, or the Climbers, as they were. 8% line chemistry. Let's see if we get any 3D, um, 3D scenes here. But we should have oh, Kyle Bush on the breakaway. Oh, Blaney with the shot, no goal. Oh, here comes Pitt, uh, yeah, Philadelphia with the attempt. And Newman with the stop. Here comes Harvick in. Stopped by Philadelphia. Yeah, I'm liking this. Uh, it feels like we're actually like getting involved with the game now. Power play goal or a shot. Scoring chance by Byron, scoring chance for Hamlin. That Their goalie is on point, that is for sure. Rit, Rit Miyaki is holding it down. There goes Philadelphia, Newman with the stop. Good job, Newman. Scoring chance for Bichards. Good stop, Newman. I tell you, Newman's getting his, uh, getting his workout in, that is for sure. Scoring chance for Blaney and deflected off. Lots of scoring chances here. And I like this speed. We're getting a feel of what are people actually doing stuff instead of, you know, in the background. First period over zero to zero. We're holding them nice and tight here. Uh, game on, focus on winning, concentrate. We're definitely not, um, you know, on the struggle bus yet. That is for sure, 12 seconds in. Oh, Truex with a shot. Oh, Newman let one by. Scoring chance for Logano. Nice shot by Logano there, Johnson. Man, I tell you, even, even uh, was that Kyle or was that Kurt? Having two Bushes is confusing. But either way, scoring chance by Bush was a no goal scoring chance for Bowman here. All right, Kyle, bury it. I tell you, Kyle can't get it in there. Come on, hold him back. Hold back Philadelphia. At least get a tie here is all I'm looking for. Scoring chance for Harvick. Harvick with the goal. Good job, Kevin. Kevin Harvick with the goal. And we're holding them nice and tight here, getting a lot of scoring chances. The amount of shots on goal has to be tremendous here in this match. Oh, Philadelphia puts one in there. It's two to one, Philadelphia. Nearing the end of the second period here, we need to get a score. 
on the power play here. Warther in the box, scoring chance for Tannen. Yeah, don't let in a shorthanded goal, whatever you do. All right, so down two to one, going into the third. Uh, just like in training, they wants to put the advice into action. So don't let them score, guys. Get some defense in. Scoring chance for Boyer, deflected away. Clint Boyer couldn't bury one home. A lot of shots here just in the first minute. It's like these guys aren't playing defense at all. Scoring chance for Bush, deflected away. Hamlin with the shot. I tell you, Philadelphia is looking tough in goal, but Jimmy Johnson buries one to the back. It's two to two in the third period. Now, if Newman can stay fresh here, I don't know if I want to put in our other goaltender. No score by Bush, nice stop by Newman. Yeah, Newman's looking kind of winded. And I don't know if it is in our best interest to take out Newman or not. Getting deep in the third period, 13 minutes in. Shot by Bell, no goal. Nice try, Christopher. Jimmy tries to bury one from the blue line. Just a minute and a half to go, no goal. Tyler Reddick with the shot. No goal, scoring chance for Harvick. Come on, Kevin. And that's the end of regulation. We're getting a point, which is very, very important indeed. OT, first score wins at sudden death, and there it is, scoring chance for Bichards. Buries one behind Newman. So unfortunately, we'll lose this one to Philadelphia by, by one, three to two. But that is all well and good, and the uh, the 3D screen did not go away here. Uh, but we can sort of see here, uh, we got our two goals there, and we actually watched them happen. Player of the match was Jimmy Johnson, though. Jimmy got his star, and uh, yeah, this 3D, win 3D window needs to go away. Please go away. Okay, so maybe it needs to refresh another. Interview not successful. We achieved nothing. That sucks. All right, 3D window is gone. Uh, we'll play this match against the Ottawa Senators, the Sand Clocks. Interesting indeed. All right, we sold out our arena here to the match. And the shards. Wait, no, that wasn't the shards, that was Kyle Busch. Yeah, it sort of had to refresh there. Uh, the 3D window, um, the 3D window kind of messed up. But scoring chance for Meza, no goal. Come on, Newman, hang tough. Scoring chance for Komet. They're getting a lot of scoring opportunities and Newman is keeping us in this game. Come on, Truex. With the deflect away, Martin Truex Jr., no goal. Halfway through the first period, Kurt Busch with the shot. Come on, Jimmy, bury it. Jimmy cannot. And he's got the C, okay. So Jimmy Johnson's our captain, I didn't. Oh, come on, Ottawa. I tell you what, Ottawa buries one back. We're tied one to one. We need to get our guys back in this game. We need to help out Newman. Poor Newman is, uh, you know, getting attacked from both sides. If the 3D window doesn't, uh, you know, mess up and close, I'd like to see how many shots on goal that Newman uh, deflected because Newman is definitely keeping us in this thing. We're one to one, and they had a lot more scoring chances than we did. Um, keep the concentration, concentrate please. We're not, you know, terrible, but we could do a little bit better. Oh, don't let Telly Tubby get it. All right, Telly with no goal. Here comes Ryan Blaney. Yeah, we're on very high effort with the current line, trying to get it in there. Um, defense system is a three to two. I don't know if we should change that up to help get better defense. I'm not sure what that would do. Clint Boyer with the shot, no goal. Five minutes into the second period. Nice shot by Blaney. I don't know if the coaches, nice. William Byron with the tap in on the side. That's why I like to see some teamwork cleaning up the, uh, cleaning up the trash, as it were, getting that rebound. Boyer tries to drive it in. It looks like these guys are just sort of charging the net by themselves. I'm not seeing a lot of puck movement just yet from side to side. 
but as long as we're keeping pace with him, that is good. Bowman with the scoring chance. Scoring chance for Larson, no goal. I'm going to go back with a normal. Okay, so the coach does change up the effort automatically, it seems. I lowered that to a normal effort with the current line, and then the other line's like, nope, very high. Keep the pressure on. With, which, I mean, I like. I like the approach to keep the pressure on. That's for sure. Yeah, and poor Newman looks winded. Hopefully he gets some rest in between periods two and three. Yeah, we need to keep these scoring chances up. If we can keep those scoring chances up, we can give Newman some uh, some relaxation time. 10% on the chemistry. All right, don't forget the tactical instructions. They're convinced, good. Yeah, Newman didn't get to recover much at all. Uh, if we give up a goal, I kind of want to see if we can put in someone else. But I mean, Newman's holding it up right now. Still doing a very good job. But five minutes into the third and he's winded. That's 15 minutes left to play that I'm not really uh, feeling confident about. Truex with the drive. Tallahan, nice. Good deflection, Newman, way to stick in there. They're getting a lot of scoring chances here. And Newman is completely gassed. Can we put in someone else? Where would my uh, where would my reserves be? Okay, so there's the pause. Inactive. All right. Goalkeepers. Um, let's put in Bubba Wallace. Can we do that? Can we pull off Newman? No, we can't pull off Newman. Can we? No. I might be. Candidate for the Hall of Fame. No, I don't think that. I just want to put him in the game. Okay, I guess we'll keep uh, we'll keep Newman in. Or do we have to call timeout? We may have to call timeout. Let's give that a try. Timeout. Um, let's see, let's go. We draw a keeper. No, we don't want to do that. Let's try something with little tic-tac-toe complexity. We'll give that a try. Elliot with the charge, Newman's still in there. Yeah, I'll just have to sort of learn the software, but we got the win against Ottawa. Very nice indeed, one goal for William Byron, one goal for Kyle Busch, assist for Denny and Martin with Ryan Blaney two minutes in the box. Unlucky defeat for the Boston Beavers against the Vegas Cavaliers, but uh, Kyle Busch's good performance made it possible. No players this week on the players of the week. Wow, four teams are tied with 12 points on top. The Maples, the Northbirds, us, and the Cats. And the New Jersey Hells finally lost one in overtime, so they got a point, but they are 20 points back off the playoff cutoff. Uh, we're eight to the good, so feeling really, really good about that. All right, next match in one day at the Boston Beavers. So the Bruins, we'll see if we... Uh, we can bring this one home here. We'll keep uh, Newman in, but I would like to, uh, I'd like to learn how to swap out the goalie. That would be nice. Club info. Okay. I'm sort of like looking at, like, okay, so they got 279 future prospects, but like I'm not seeing fan confidence. I want to see how confident the fans are in Boston. Scoring chance for Elliott already. And we are in Boston, so we're, we're fighting the uphill battle, that's for sure. But we're getting a lot of scoring chances here. That's what I like to see. Man. Yeah, we are putting on the effort pretty hard. That is good. Yeah, I didn't see how many shots on goal that last game. Remind me to do that out there in YouTube land. 
Remind me to uh, to check the uh, the goals it, or the the shots against. And Newman is getting his work in, that's for sure. Maybe we can uh, train up Newman, get his uh, his stamina up a bit. Let him stay focused throughout the entire game. A lot of scoring chances from Boston now. It's like scoring chance after scoring chance. Halfway through this first period now. And we are not uh, really getting that many. Here we go. Logano with the shot, or Logano with the attempt. Newman shutting him down as well as the goalie. Larson with a shot, bounces away. Yeah, line one was in there. I'm, I'm glad that the coach is sort of uh, doing this for us, keeping our, our best line in as much as we can. It's just all about finding out where that goalie swap is. Because that would be uh, nice indeed. Okay, so that just goes back to the screen. Okay. All right, into the first, tied 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, terrific. Keep playing like that. Team is proud. We're not giving up anything. We're keeping the pressure on. No need to change anything, really. We just need to keep hammering in home. Oh, man, a five-minute major for Bush, which is uh, detrimental to us if we give up the shorthanded goal, which we just did. Oh wow, and he's not even back on the ice. What did Bush do? Was that for fighting? I do have to wonder. So we're down one to nothing because uh, Bush was in the penalty box. Probably yelling at somebody as Kurt Bush tends to do. I assume that was Kurt Bush. We'll have to look and see uh, after the game. But can we do that now? Now, ice time. Statistics. Here we go. So uh, who, which bush was it that went to the penalty box? Uh, penalties, penalties, penalties. That's just shots and duels. Yeah, further data. Slap shots penalty. There we go. So neither bush penalty. Interesting. I guess we'll have to look and see after the game. Maybe it's not tallied yet. Scoring chance for bush. Trying to make up for that penalty that he got. Jimmy with the shot deflected away. Halfway through the second period now, still down one to nothing, but we're getting some good chances. Let's try to put in some effort, put in some high effort here. We need to catch back up. Scoring chance for Cole Custer, not to be. It's chance for Larson, off the side, nope, good stop. Yeah, we're getting a lot of chances, just not bearing it home. Uh, focus on winning. Totally concentrate here. Get that next goal. We're only down by one. Chase with the shot, not good. Hulk Alinen, nice. Good stop by Newman. He's faring a lot better, and we're on the power play now for two minutes. A minute 24 left in our power play. We need to get on the offensive. Christopher Bell with the shot. Couldn't get a shot in when we were on the power play, unfortunately. Yeah, we're getting a lot of shots, just no, nothing driven home. Newman's hanging in there. I do have to say this is a better game for Newman um, endurance-wise. He's really, he's really sticking it in there, and that's what I like to see. No goal over halfway through the third. We just need one. We don't want our first loss of the year, and there it is, our first official loss of the year. And I think it comes down to Kurt Busch with five penalty minutes. I mean, that is... Uh, Absolutely cray cray. And that's interesting. Why doesn't it show? Do I select me? No. I'd like to see like my stats here. I don't know if it's supposed to show the home team. Huh. But let's see. How many deflections or how many shots did Ryan Newman take? That's what I. Uh, want to see here. Let's see, where is old Ryan Newman? Ryan Blaney. Ryan Newman. Let's see, six total saves from two sh slap shots, three at short distance, and one play. So, uh, 
It looked like he was getting shot at a lot more than six, I do have to say. Oh, dang. Kurt Busch is getting suspended for three national matches for three weeks for his unfair behavior. Oh, man, Kurt, 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 what am I going to do with you? I know we have the option to speak to our players. I kind of want to talk to them and uh, see what's up here. Auto save is being saved. And uh, let's uh, let's see here. Reputation with the fans is currently 86%. Nice. Uh, I would like to talk to, before we get there, talk to Kurt Busch. Let's see. Player, merchandise. Kurt Busch does not wish to extend his contract. Well, screw you too, guy. I tell you what, um, conversation. Yeah, we're gonna have a conversation with old Kurt Busch. Conversation. All right, let's talk about your acceptance. All right, we get along. Can I not select that? We get along. I hope a relationship, acceptance falls by six. Can we not, uh, not select anything? Huh. I kind of wanted to see what he did. Um, is there a way we can sort of see? I doubt it will keep track of that, but I kind of want to see what that penalty was. Was it a major for fighting? Was it a game misconduct? Like... What exactly was it that he was suspended for? Well, I couldn't see exactly what the penalty was for, but we do know he's out for three weeks, and uh, he's only got one goal so far this year. So it's not like we're giving up, say, Kyle Busch, his brother, or something like that, who is really driving in the goals for us. So we'll just have to make do with what we have. Um, so that will be episode two taken care of ladies and gentlemen feeling pretty good you know I'm still learning the game still learning the ins and outs and the intricacies but thank you once again to Netmine Games for uh, giving me the code to play this game I'm really enjoying it so far the developer actually commented on my last video and said that they are uh, actively still working on it which is very good to see and I'm excited to see where it ends up but that will do it for me like share and subscribe if you are so bold thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next hockey manager video take care